Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Concrete mix for shed base a standard concrete mix ratio of 1 part cement to 5 parts ballast, aggregate and sand, is usually perfectly adequate for shed bases but you can add reinforcing fibers if you are housing anything particularly heavy. Make your mark, take our lead! Pour concrete over a solid, well-drained base because concrete slabs float on the soil, soft ground or voids underneath may cause unsupported areas to crack under heavy weight like vehicles. Pack about 4 in of sand or gravel over clay and other poorly draining soils to provide even support. Make your mark, take our lead! Both paved and concrete bases can't be laid straight onto soft ground and so require a sub-base. A concrete base also has a further extra step, constructing the frame or edging that supports concrete while it sets, this is known as formwork. We recommend only using a concrete base for larger sheds and log cabins. Take our lead. Cement-wise I would pour the base at 5 to 1 so you'll need maybe 7 bags of cement. If you still want to pay a fortune to buy your ballast in small bags get the 25 kilograms ones and you will need approximately 30 bags. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Concrete or slab base would be the cheapest garden shed base, can get the big old council slabs for next to nothing, depends on your experience though, a concrete base is probably easier to get right the first time. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.